Criticizing a political system can bring all kinds of trouble to the speaker, but it is not slander and is not punishable under the letter of the law. That is why, in most countries, please don't count dictatorships like North Korea, give no punishment to people who criticize a political leader, a political party, or huge establishment, telling true and false stories in the press that detract from their reputation. Some wealthy people would sue someone who criticized them publicly. Criticism is not a criminal offense. Some usage of words such as nigger and associated thought forms may become a criminal offense in the UK, as long as somebody is willing to write a criminal case about you. For most part, criticizing anyone or anything cannot be turned into a criminal offense, and most people cannot on paper enjoy that level of comfort that means they will never be criticized. What is untrue on paper may be true in practice, because a person who criticizes someone or something can be punished with extreme unpopularity, which can indirectly result in a loss of life. I say this not only about the UK, but about all countries of the world. I say this not only about the 21st century, but about all time. I would like to cite a historical example known in many countries. I am unsure if this historical fact has been obliterated in Britain so that the younger Brits would not know. This is the famous example where one Stalin, a cruel dictator of the former USSR shipped his political dissidents to psychiatric hospitals in Siberia where everyone died from the bitter cold and neuroleptic medicines that, in 2023, continue to have a death toll in every country in the world. While these cruel procedures may have been illegal, Stalin did not obey any such law. When I talk about people being punished, even fatally for their opinions, I am including myself and the late Regent Exeter. Anyhow, I call myself a Christian, but some people would disagree, since I am not an absolutist. This means I am not completely sure I will go to heaven when I die, or that non-Christians will burn forever. This means I don't have all the answers and consider myself human, and therefore error-prone. Paradoxically, I like to think for myself. I am a strong non-believer in extermination. I would not, if I had the power, exterminate categories of people I dislike. They may have a good side to them. People have a right to pursue activities and beliefs I dislike. I rate compatibility and the joy of speech exchange over the modern mental health system, which provides mental intimacy commercially to the female masses through a socially disadvantaged female worker. I do not look down on uneducated people and agree with the famous English author Agatha Christie, who described a rottenness that comes from within. I believe the only people who should be exterminated are the categories that exterminate all others. In this chapter 9. You will hear what was going on with me medically through the years, 2011, to 2016, at which point I became an invalid who would never feel well again.